Welcome back, you sexy bitch. To another day of Game Blitz! Hey guys, and welcome back to another day of uh, Game Blitz. So, today, what I'm going to talk about, guys, is <clears throat> how to open your NAT type for things like Call of Duty or I mean, Battlefield or any, um, any game, really, um, how to open your NAT type, okay? So, by that, I mean, when you start a game on, say, Call of Duty or something of that sort, you, you'll notice on the bottom left or the bottom right or somewhere it'll say NAT type. And it'll either say strict, moderate, or open. Well, Call of Duty, or basically any game, the preferred uh, NAT type would be open. And the only way you can get open is by having one of two things. NAT type 1 or 2. Okay, so if you guys are NAT type 3, then this is the video for you. You want to at least get... A NAT type of 2 or better. Okay, guys? So, the first thing that you want to do to do this is you want to find the default gateway of your router. So, <clears throat> if you are on your PlayStation 4, Xbox, I don't know about you guys, but if you're on your PS4, if you go to settings and you go to network settings and then you find uh, your settings, uh, your connections, It'll tell you all of your, your details, like your your IP address, your DNS, and everything. Well, listed in there is going to be your default gateway. Okay, guys? So, once you find what your default gateway is, you want to type that number into your address bar on your browser. Okay? So, whatever your default gateway is, that's what it is. So, then it'll bring you up this page. So, um, yeah, guys. So, once you get to your login here, the first thing you want to do is just try admin admin as your password and user. So, if you don't know what this password is, I recommend just simply um, uh, simply looking on the box, your modem or router, and somewhere on that box will be like a sticker. It will just tell you, you know, your, your user and password or whatever. But the default is probably just admin, admin. Again, if you still can't find it, just contact your uh, contact your ISP provider, and they'll send you the, the info. So once you get to that page, first thing you want to do is every router is probably going to be different, but for mine, you look toward a advanced setup. So some sort of advanced page along those lines is where where you want to look. So when you want, and then you want to go to DNS. Wait a minute. No, you don't want to go to DNS. You want to go to NAT, right? So the first thing you want to do is go to your virtual server setup, which is probably under NAT somewhere along those lines. You'll find a list of server setups. And here's the list of everything that I've got for the PlayStation Network, okay guys? So if you want to, go ahead and pause your video right here and check out these ports. So we got, so, I mean, you just type in the port in the first box where you start, type the number in the end box, then decide your protocol, okay? So when you're doing this, you want to select a custom service. And you just want to type in the name of the service that you're trying to do. You, then you want to choose the IP address 
of your PlayStation 4. So if you go to your PlayStation 4 and you look up into your network settings, you will see the IP address of your PlayStation. So that's the IP address you want to type in this box, okay? Then you want to add them ports and start and end. And then choose your protocol. Okay? Apply and save. And you want to use all these numbers here that I've got. Alright, guys? So you want to do start end, start end, start end, server, your custom server, just PSN, protocol, and then this is just a repeat. This here is the IP address. These don't matter. So once you guys get these ports all labeled and listed and added into your virtual service list, you're probably good to go. If this still does not give you an open NAT type, guys, go to DMZ host. Okay. Type in the IP address of your PS4. Apply and save. You will be good. And if you still, for whatever reason, can't get that to open your NAT type, enable something called UPNP, and this, I mean, UPNP, and if, you're st if you still can't get an open NAT type, then it's just your internet service, guys, but this will most likely open up all of your servers. So I hope this helped you guys out. I hope you guys have an open NAT type, NAT2, NAT1, whatever. And so basically, guys, with that open NAT type, you should be able to join anybody, all your friends. You should be able to do whatever, considering the fact that you have sufficient internet. Thanks for watching, guys. Tune in again.